You're watching Beyond the Bubble with Tim Brandt. Folks, if there is no passion in your life, then you really haven't lived. It's been said that if you find your passion, become it, let it become you, you'll find that great things happen to you and because of you. I want you to meet Michael William Krzyzewski, better known as Coach K. The Duke head coach has won 13 ACC championships, four national championships, and is currently the defending national title holder. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame, and he continues to follow his passion. Mike, it's been a heck of a run. Yeah. Do you ever think about how fast those years went by? Well, the first three years were, took about 25 <laughs> years. So uh, You're only two losing seasons, by the way. Yeah, but they were, you know, they were tough. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really about uh, being at a place that you love, which attracts the level of player you need to do what you love to the highest level. You made a comment once that really stuck with me when you were in Chicago and as a little boy, you'd go back to Pennsylvania every summer. Yeah. And you said it kept your personality to keep you grounded and know where you came from. Right. What was that like? Well, you know, I always feel like I'm the lucky guy, you know, uh, in that uh, I was lucky to be born into that family that had the highest standards maybe not a lot of money and material stuff, but never, we were never poor in anything, but we were rich in standards. I mean, you've never lost that. You've never lost where you came from. I think anybody who has success should always say, like, why you? Okay, if you're a great singer, why did they give you the great voice? Does that make you better than someone else? Because you can hit a baseball better than somebody. Does that make you better than someone else? No, you just, you have a talent. I, I was supposed to coach. I hit the jackpot. I went to the best school for leadership in the world, West Point, and while I was there, I played for the best coach in the world in Bob Knight. I got boom, boom, boom. I felt sometimes like I was getting <laughs> boom, 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 but it was, I hit the lottery. and. And that's where you're lucky. It doesn't mean, but it doesn't separate you from being just an, a, another human being. Everybody's got good stuff on them. Mike, and I know you're not tied up in the numbers, and I heard you and Bobby talking about, you know, it's the kids and it's everybody yeah. around you that's made it. But when you get to that number, which could happen this year, right? and you pass him and become the all-time winningest coach, can you put that in perspective? I don't know if it'll ever happen again that the first coach over 900 is Coach Bob Knight. Okay, the second coach, unless health or whatever, will be me. I played for him. How can the first two in all the coaches in the history of our game to share that moment? To me, it'll be, it'll be a shared great moment. Does it ever get old? Well, you have to make sure that you're in the moment of the team you're coaching. That's why I don't like to look back and Somebody will say, how many ACC championships? I don't know. I try not, you know, regular season, tournament. Yeah, I do know we won four national championships because you're going to remember, <laughs> you're going to really remember those. <laughs> I have to make sure that I'm about winning with this group, whatever group I have the privilege to coach at that particular time. But the, even the most successful people in America, no matter what their business, once they have a successful marriage like you've had or three daughters in your case, yeah. the grandchildren in your case, I mean, it does seem to start to take away the most successful guys, drive on this side, because now there's something even more important in their life. I think one of the things, Tim, that is your commitment to the individual you're coaching. You know, in other words, I couldn't look Nolan Smith or Kyle Singler in the eye uh, and see their passion without them looking into my eyes and them seeing my passion. It goes into their heart. Their eyes go to their heart, and their heart's young, yeah, and their eyes see hope and passion, and I want to do this, and okay, I want to be with those guys. I don't want to be with the guys who are just sitting around having a glass of wine and talking about what they did. I want to be with these guys who are still trying to do. More than several times you've had the opportunity yeah. to go to the NBA. 
And I mean, the money was crazy. Yeah. And you never took it. Well, I make a lot of money now. You know, I probably could have made more, would have made more in the MBA. So I've never made a decision for career by mo for money. Uh, I figure you, you'll make money, uh, you know, doing what you love to do or enough money. And I think it goes back to my family in Chicago. You know, they were happy and they didn't make a lot of money. Now, it's better if you can be happy and make a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but I, I don't think money should be the f biggest factor in you making decisions about what you do with your life. You've used your success and taken that and opened doors that that success allowed you to open. Yeah, well, I pr thank you for saying that, but you know, I think as you go on, you ask why you stay hungry. Well, if it was just about winning, I've had a pretty good feast. Yeah, I mean, I've, you know, it's been a smorgasbord of everything. I mean, you know, I've, I've been lucky. There has to be more than just winning. What does that winning translate to? You know, can you build an Emily Krzyzewski Center? Can you still be on the V Foundation? Can you do something with the children's home? It gives value. Otherwise, I think you, you know, I'm, I'm not in a profession that operates on people or you know, gives aid to, to people. It, it can be a calloused profession if you don't add some value, you know, if you don't use your platform well. Mike, best of luck to yeah, you. Yeah, thank you very much. Head coach Mike Krzyzewski's Duke Club plays Hampton on Friday afternoon. Coach K is going after another record, 78 consecutive NCAA tournament wins. From one legend to another, former Georgetown head coach John Thompson is one of the most interesting, compelling, complex people you would ever want to sit down with. I'll do it on the other side as Beyond the Bubble continues.